Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For today's lesson, we are going to learn equating composite functions. Our learning objective for today's lesson will be to find the value of unknowns. Okay, now look at the example. You have fx equals to 2x plus k and you got gx equals to x minus 4 and you are also given fgx equals to mx plus 6 and then you have to find the value of m and k. So first thing, if you look at this question, you are given two functions and then you are given composite function. So what we will do is, we are trying to find our own fg based on the two functions given to us. So first thing, you find your, your own fgx, so you are going to write fgx. Okay, now we substitute in, the first thing is to substitute the g function which is x minus 4, so the f will be the same which is f, and then bracket x minus 4. Okay, now there is no more g function, now look at this function, we have f. So you got to use uh, this function which is 2x plus k, but remember in the class when I taught you to do this question, you have to let the, bra the x becomes bracket, so you would have f bracket equals to 2 bracket plus x, so you're going to write this term, but you're going to replace x with bracket, so you have 2 brackets, and then plus k, so this is your next step. I okay, cannot look at whatever term you have in the bracket. You will be using the same expression as above and then you're going to copy those terms into your brackets. So you have x minus 4 here. Okay, and then open the brackets. You have 2x minus 8 and then plus k. Okay, now we're going to compare the one that we have from our calculation and the one given to us from the question. So we just compare both equations. So you're going to compare the two composite functions. So when you do comparing, uh, the one with the x will be the same. So this x will be the same. That means the m will be equal to 2. So again, the mx will be equal to 2x. So now you have your m answer, which is m equals to 2. Okay, next, whatever term you left, you got negative 8 plus k. These two numbers will be the same as 6. So we're going to equate this. Okay, next, to find the value of your k, you're going to compare the one without x with this number. So you got negative 8 plus k, and then you got 6 there, th so they are, must be the same. So using comparison, you have negative 8, and then plus k, and then equals to the number there, which is 6. So you bring over, so you have k equals to... You bring over negative 8 to the other side, so you don't have 6 plus 8, which is 14. So this is how we solve composite functions. And this is how we use equating two composite functions to find the value of unknowns. So now I'm going to give you the exercise. I'm going to give you five exercise and also the index. And good luck for that. 